Japan is shifting into high gear in the AI race, making the game-changing decision not to enforce copyrights on data used for training AI models. In another corner of the world, UAE has launched its own heavyweight, the Falcon 40, a large language model that outperforms even Meta's LLM models and Stability AI's Stable LM. While we are witnessing the dawn of AI expansion, mainstream outlets like Times have started talking about end of humanity. But should we really feature that on the front page? In another news, Nvidia is showing the world its new Neuroangelo model and Instacart is getting tech savvy by introducing AI shopping ready for its users. Hello guys, welcome to the channel and let's dive straight into the video. I quickly wanted to show you something really cool and quite concerning. A few days ago, Photoshop launched this feature where you can actually augment the existing images by using stable diffusion on it to create a new image. Now people are using Photoshop to create fake pictures of themselves getting in hospitals. So here somebody is taking just a quick selfie and then using that image to change their clothes and the background. So right now she's changing her gown and making it like a hospital gown, creating her hair a little bit messy, wearing that hospital band, putting a nurse in the background with the stethoscope on it and then sent. And now if you wanna get out of your workplace, you just have to take a selfie and use Photoshop. You don't need to tell this to your boss that where did you find it. Moving on to a more serious news, Japan is going mainstream with AI and now in order to boost their AI development in the country, they are enforcing no copyright laws for the models that are being trained in Japan. So as you can see, Japan goes all in. Copyright does not apply to AI learning. In a surprising move, Japan's government recently reaffirmed that it will not enforce copyrights on data used in AI training. The policy allows AI to use any data regardless of whether it is for non-profit or commercial purposes, whether it is act other than reproduction or whether it is content obtained from illegal sites or otherwise. Japan's Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology confirmed the bold statement to a local meeting saying that Japan's law won't protect copyrighted materials used in AI datasets. So as you can see, countries are pushing the AI war even further ahead and making it more hot because now even the copyrights won't be able to stop it. Moving on to another part of the world, UAE has finally released their Falcon 40 model. Now this model is already outperforming Meta's Llama models and Stability AI's Stable LM model. But more importantly, this model is open source for both academic and commercial purposes. A few days ago, Andre Karpati gave a talk at Microsoft Developer Conference where they ranked how other models which are out in open and also proprietary models are ranking, in which he said Llama model from Meta is already the best, which is open source. But now in open source itself, we have Falcon 40, which is already outperforming it. Moving on to the third news of the week, Times just released this, end of humanity. And this is the poster of their upcoming edition. Now it is safe to say that possibility of extension because of AI is going mainstream. Now the question is, is it safe to consider the possibility of extinction because of AI? And I would say definitely yes. The most predominant people in the world of AI just signed a paper that says we should carefully consider the risk of potential extinction of humans because of AI. And this is just one mainstream media that is scaring from top of their lungs that, yeah, we should take this seriously. Moving on to Nvidia's news, they just released Neuralangelo. It's a model that takes 2D images or 2D videos and converts them into 3D rendering. The technology behind the model is Neural Radiance Field. I created a really epic video on that. If you want, you can check that out. But again, Nvidia is keep on hitting us with amazing epic news from Nvidia. Also, Nvidia just crossed 1 trillion mark and then went back down to below 1 trillion. But it just shows that how complex the world of AI is getting and the technology that is supporting all of this, which is GPU of course, that is created by Nvidia, it is benefiting them a lot. Finally, really small news from AI. That is, Instacart just released this AI buddy for their users so that if you want to buy something, this AI buddy is going to help you in deciding which things you should exactly buy so that it actually elevates your experience of purchasing. So you can just go and ask like, what do I need to host a summer barbecue? In order to do summer barbecue, it is gonna suggest all of the products that you need to buy, such as pre-cut corn. And then you can just add those things to your cart. So instead of 
looking for ingredients you just look for an event and based on the event the instacart ai buddy is going to help you what you should buy and finally wwd3 from apple is coming on 5th june a lot of hardware and software announcements are going to be there so if you want to stay tuned consider subscribing or subscribe to my newsletter